She doesn't know what I fucking go through, mate. She just, she just hasn't got a fucking clue. I, I've, I, I've got the kids in a day. I've, I've got two of them. I've got a five-year-old and a two-year-old and I'm a stay-at-home dad. And she, does, she comes home at fucking half five from work and she's like, oh, you haven't done the dishes? And I'm like, fuck off, you fucking snake. You haven't got a fucking clue what I've been up to all day. You haven't got a fucking clue what I go through. Honestly, like, it, was half, it was half term a couple of weeks ago and I, I'm, honestly, by the end of it, I was ready to volley one of them cunts through a fucking window, mate. <laughs> I can't fucking handle them. I can't take them anymore. You know what? I'll be fair. The five-year-old, I can, I'm, I'm starting to get on board with him. We've, we've, we've developed like a system where like we've got used to each other now and it's like fucking prison in the house. I don't fuck with him. He doesn't fuck with me. He stays on his side of the house and I just fucking throw him some toast every now and again. But the fucking two-year-old mate, he's a fucking psychopath. He's a genuine sociopath mate. He knows how to fucking... I, 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 I can't, I just don't know what to do. I get on this, my daily routine's this, and this is what I do every single fucking weekday. I'll drop him off, I, I've done it to the, I'll drop him off at nursery, right? I'll drop him off at nursery at half eight, and, and, and I've got to take the other one to school at nine, and I've got to go back, and I've got to pick him up at 11 o'clock, and every single fucking day, right? He bounces out, he bounces out of this nursery like he's had the fucking most wonderful time of his life, just like, ah! Just fucking arms full of shit, Peyton, it's just like, Fucking macaroni and glitter everywhere. <laughs> just so happy though, just like, ah! Until he sees me and he just goes. <laughs> Where's mum? <laughs> every day though, and I'm like, mate, she's in work like she is every single day. And he goes, well, I don't like you. Mate, that shit cuts you fucking deep. I, I do this for a living. I consider myself quite thick skinned, but fuck me, la. You find yourself in a two year old's playground just going, Well, I don't fucking like you either, mate! <laughs> <laughs> fucking pains of shit! <laughs> Doesn't even fucking look like a rabbit, you little tit. <laughs> ah, fucking God. He's killing me, mate. He's killing me. He's gonna murder me in my sleep. I can see it. He's got like he's got fucking murder in his eyes. He's gonna 100%. I'm gonna wake up one day and he's, I'm just gonna look up and he's gonna fucking stab me with one of my own knives. <laughs> it's off his fucking head, mate. Like, you know what I think the problem is? I'm not a violent man in any way, shape, or form. I'm not. And I don't advocate hitting kids. I don't believe you should hit your kids. But saying that, I do wanna fucking give him one. Like, I just want to give him one fucking good, like, fucking, as he turns around, and I don't like, BANG! <laughs> Who don't you like? <laughs> and I don't want to do it to hate him. It's not to hate him. Because what I think, my theory on this is that the fucking, there's something gone wrong, there's something broken down in the father-son chain, like some kind of alpha brain, fucking tribal part of our ape brain, that he knows I've got no fucking physical power over him now. So he just looks at me as if to go, well, this is all fucking clearly mine, isn't it? I'll get home from, I, I, I do this six nights a week, right? And I get home, best case scenario, I get home from work about half 12, one o'clock in the morning, right? And I go in my house and I walk up the stairs and I go into my bedroom, I'm fucking tired. And he's got his own bedroom, he's got his own bed. He's got his own bed that he made me spend a fucking fortune on an Ikea because he wanted the fucking jungle bed. <laughs> but will he be in the jungle bed? No. Will he fuck he will be where I'm supposed to be slept in my bed that I paid fucking 1,500 fucking pound for? Next to my missus, just fucking sideways, though, just... <laughs> and you try and move him, you try and move me, you're like, fucking... You're like, oh, oh, and he just, he's just like... Oh, oh. 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 Da da daddy, I, I, I don't want to get in the jungle bell. I I, 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 just, I just want to stay in the big bed. I, 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 I'm just a little bit sweepy. Like he's great because he can't say his fucking L's properly. <laughs> and I'm just looking at him going, because his, his mouth saying those dead cute things, but his fucking face isn't. His face is just looking at me going, <laughs> <laughs> try and move me now, see what she does to you. And he's fucking right as well. He's just looking at me going, get in the jungle bed. <laughs> fucking me, a 36 year old man, caught the fucking, with a fucking canopy over me. Like, oh, monkeys. 
I can't beat him. I, I, I can't. I literally. I just. I've got none. Like he knows I've got none. Like he bounces around the house. Like he's trying to fucking kill me, dog. He's literally. Trying, I've got a puppy and he's trying to fucking kill it. Like you, if you came to my house, this hour, I know he's a psycho. If you came to my house, you think he's the cutest kid in the world because he's just bouncing around, he's playing with the puppy. Ah, oh, Daisy, oh. give it a cuddles, and then you're like, oh, it's so cute. And then as soon as you leave, he starts trying to pull the ears off the dog. Drags it across the room by a tail. He makes it sit and then goes. And she moves every time because he's shitting it, but then I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you nutter? I swear to God, every uh, one day I'm going to walk in the house and he's just going to be stood in the living room just with the dog's head in his hand, just like, <laughs> just covered in blood, just like, <laughs> she was a wit a bit sweepy. He's <laughs> fucking crazy, me. All I've got, the, he knows I can't hit him, and all you got, all you got, if you can't hit your kids, all you got's the fucking naughty step, that's it. And I don't know if anyone feels the same way as me about the naughty step. I thought I was doing it fucking wrong at first, but I'm fucking not, mate. I've watched enough super, my, I've watched enough super nanny to know my technique is fucking flawless, mate. Get on this, I get low, I employ a firm tone. <laughs> Alexander, listen to daddy, listen to daddy, stop that now. You do that again, you're going to go on the step. Do you want to go on the step? And he'll just go, yeah. <laughs> just front it out. And no super nanny tells you how to fucking deal with that because that never happens to fucking super nanny. You're just looking at it going, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, because uh. you can't do, you can't do nothing with that. You can't say, no, you're not going on the step because that just fucking devalues the step. So you got to let him go on the step. Anybody wants to go on the step, you got to go out there with him watching the leg time and you stood there thinking, I've put myself on the fucking naughty step, haven't I? How the fuck has this happened? I was watching the chase a minute ago. <laughs> Fucking little bastard, watching it, waiting for it to go to the bottom, waiting for it to count down to two minutes, and he turned over, you ready to say sorry, and he's just like, nope. <laughs> end up doing that seven times, end up apologising to him, giving him some chocolate buttons. <laughs> just so I can go back in the fucking living room. <laughs> Fucking ruin my life. The thing is, like, the worst thing about it is, as I said, me and my missus being together, like, eight years nearly, right? And, because he's in the bed all the time, like, you won't fucking, you don't even realise it. Like, you've been together a few years, you've got no kiddies, you're fucking, like, you're just shagging all the time, you know what I mean? Kind of just fucking having a lovely time, just banging away, just fucking out. Like so, you, as you should be, mate, just fucking that. But you don't, the problem, I haven't got a problem with the fact that you do it. I've got a problem with the fact that you don't fucking value it, mate. You have, you have no idea of how valuable it is because you think it's never going to go away. And it fucking goes away, mate! <laughs> know what the worst bit is? Like, you'll go out tonight and you'll have a boss time, you'll have a lovely time, you come here, you have a great time, you go out for some drinks, you do some drinks, and then some cocktails, Ooh, you get all frisky and that, you start shagging later. The best thing is, though, no, that's not even the best thing. The best thing is, you know, tomorrow morning when you wake up and you got the hangover and that, and you fucking, you just wake up and you're like, oh, and you're both there, just like, oh, sweaty and that, and you're like, oh, and you just go, ooh, ooh, and you start doing that lazy fucking hangover lying on your side, I'll leave a move and not even your eyes open, shagging, just like, oh. oh. Oh, mate, that's the stuff of fucking dreams, that shit. I can't even remember that shit anymore. That's fucking phenomenal stuff. And have you, I've told you how valuable that is now, and even now, you won't even, you won't take my words in, because tomorrow morning, I guarantee you'll be doing that tomorrow morning, you'll be like, ah, and then your head, you'll be thinking, I need to stop now, McDonald's breakfast stops at half ten. Because <laughs> you know, as soon as you finish your Ash Brown, you start shagging again. You've got no responsibilities, mate. I do not have that luxury. Like, is 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 where I am right now, right? And it's horrible, right? The baby stays out on a Monday night. It's one night a week, right? It's one night a week. He goes out on a Monday night, and that's our window of opportunity to have sex, and that's too much fucking pressure for a shag. It's too much. You can't cope with it. Like, it's fucking... Like, I'll, I'll tell you, like, here's how bad it is, right? I'm in the Echo Arena. Biggest gig of my life. Fucking phenomenal. Thousands of people here. I should be 100% focused, right? And I'm about 98% with you. Thank you very much. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling in the room, but as I said, I'm about 98% with you because there's always a little 2% of my brain that just keeps flashing up every so, and every, every so often, just, just keeps going, oh my God, I've got a shag here in 72 hours. <laughs> oh. Like it turns my stomach and then I'm like, oh my God. 
And it's not that I don't want to do it. I, I love it and that. It's not like I don't like it. It's just, it's just too much pressure. It's too, because you can't enjoy yourself because you've got to take him to his nans and you've got to get the other one in bed and you've got to, you've got to make a meal because you've got to pretend there's a date or something. So you, you do some steaks in your pans and that. And you start trying to have a conversation, but you've got fuck all to talk about, really. So you, just, you try not to talk about the kids, but that's all you've got in common these days. So you're like, oh. So then you go in the living room and watch fucking Holmes Under the Hammer. <laughs> that's all you can both get excited about these days. And then you go upstairs, mate, and she goes, she go upstairs and she goes in the bathroom to get herself ready. And mate, every single Monday I find myself just fucking stood there, just fucking, it's in the bedroom, just looking at myself in the mirror, just fucking sweating, just like, <sighs> just trying to fucking psych myself up, just going, come on, mate, you can fucking do this, come on. Just fucking slap it, just, just fucking hood up like Eminem in 8 Mile. Just fucking slapping me, Willie, just going, come on. Come on, you little prick. This is your one shot, do not miss your chance to blow, come on. <laughs> and she... <laughs> And she comes in and you do it and it's fine, but you, as I said, you can't get into it because you, you, you're in your head too much. You're thinking, is she enjoying it? Am I enjoying it? Do, do I come now? If I come now, it's next Monday. 